What up, everybody? Nitro John Wan here, back with another WWE video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Randy Orton Elite 78 and comparing it to other Elites. So, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. All right, so on the side of the box, you have Randy Orton on the side. And then on the other side, you have Randy Orton. And on the back, you have some highlights and stuff. So, yeah, you could pause the video and read that. So, yeah. So here's the box, and yeah, now let's get on with the figure and his accessories. All right, so getting on with Randy Orton's accessories, he comes with interchangeable hands. He comes with fisted hands that have painted on wrist tape, and he comes with his entrance jacket that says RKO on it. And on the back, on the back, it has there's a snake. So yeah, that's it for his accessories. Not much, but it's all right. Now let's get on with the figure. So. Randy Orton's head sculpt is really, really good. I really like it. I think it looks much like Randy Orton. He has a nice fade look to his hair. Very cool. Really good head sculpt. He has his back tattoo. Really accurate. I like it. It looks good. And he has all his other tattoos on his arms. He has his tattoo on his torso right, right over here. And then he has his tattoos going onto his torso. So yeah, really good art detail on this figure. He, for his attire, he has nice red with white. He has that. And then his knee pads say RKO on both of them. And on the back, it says Orton. So that's really cool. Um, he has really good articulation. So yeah, that's really good. I think he is on ball joints. I think so. I think he's on ball joints. Um, yeah, he has his posing hands when he does his entrance. So yeah, that's cool. I'll pose the figure at the end of the video, and but I'm also gonna be comparing the figures. Now on his left forearm, he has like the smudge on his arm. I don't know if that's like a mess up, but I mean, I don't really mind it. It doesn't bother me that much, so yeah. There's that, and then up here, I think they went too far up on the when they brought the tattoo going out on his torso, so that kind of bothers me, but hey, it's all right. So yeah, but everything else on this figure is really good. My bad. Yeah, everything else on this figure is very, very good. I recommend you guys getting this figure. It's really good. One of my favorite elites so far. So yeah. Now we're gonna compare the elites to his other elites. So yeah, let's get on with it. All right, so now comparing these Randy Orton elites to each other, we have the newest elite out of all of them, the Elite 78 Randy Orton in the middle. On our right, we have the Elite 67 Randy Orton. And on our left, we have the Elite WrestleMania 34 Elite. So yeah, I really like all of these Elites. I think they are really good. Thanks to Mattel, I really like these figures. I think a lot of work have been put into these figures. I recommend you guys going to buy all of these. I think they're must cop. So now, comparing the Elite head sculpts of Randy Orton, I really like the newest Elite head sculpts. And then I really like the Elite 67 Randy Orton's head sculpt as well. Because I just like the hair, more hair on this figure. I think it looks really good. And then we also have the uh, WrestleMania 34 Elite. I, I don't really feel this head sculpt. I don't really like it that much. But it's still a good head sculpt. Because there's like some red under the eyes on this figure. I don't know. It just looks kind of weird. I really like this head sculpt though. I'm leaning more towards this one the most. And also, the WrestleMania 34 Elite, which was the oldest out of these three that I have for you guys, showing you right here. He does. This one doesn't have the painted on um, tattoos going to the torso, so that's a that's one thing about it. These two both have it: the Elite 78 and the. Elite 67 Randy Orton. So that's another thing. Now, on the Elite 67, 
If you look at this one, they have these skulls tattoos on his left arm, on this one, and on the WrestleMania Elite, you don't have that. So that's another thing. So there's that. And it also doesn't have the um, the skulls going onto the torso. I might have already said that. I For entrance attire, I really like the Elite 78s. I think that the red with the white is really good. This one has like a blue. I just don't really like it because you can't really see it that well. And also, the knee pads for all these figures don't have... RKO on them, except for the newest Elite that we got, which is the Elite 78. Now, I actually really like this Randy Orton, the WrestleMania 34 Elite Randy Orton's attire, too. I think it's really good attire. I kind of like it. So there's that. It says Orton on the back. I like it a lot. I think that my favorite out of all of these is the Elite 78, but out of all of these, I really like all of them, honestly. I think you should go cop these figures i think they're must have so that's basically it i'm gonna pose these figures for you guys for the end of the video so yeah let's get on with that part all right so right here we have all our randy orton elites posing right here we have the newest elite randy orton doing his pose when he does his entrance i really like this figure he i really like his entrance jacket as well I'm probably going to keep mine on my Elite Randy Orton posing. So yeah, I think you must go get this figure. Go to Ringside Collectibles if you want to pick up any of these figures you see in the video. So yeah, there's that. And then right here we have both of the Randy Orton Elites. The Elite 67 is trying to RKO the WrestleMania 34 Elite Randy Orton. So yeah, I think all of these figures are really cool. I think you guys should go get these figures because they're a must-have to your collection. So yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, because I'm going to be coming out with more um, WWE Elite videos in the future. So be subscribed with noties on if you want to watch those videos as soon as they come out. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.